Okay, folks, and I'm driving home, and uh, I had one of the best, most fun metal detecting hunts of all time, and the reason for that is... Howdy, folks, Nathan Trevor, metal detector, back in Santa Barbara. And I'm back at the Mesa Lane Steps, city of Santa Barbara, Parks and Recreation Department. And we're about to do the thousand steps again. And this time I'll keep you on and uh, speed it up. Ooh, and this surfboard has seen better days. <laughs> What's up, pup? Find something? Well, I'll be honest, it's not as bad without with, with shoes on. <laughs> and wouldn't you know it, my first bottle cap. <laughs> I guess I'll take that out of here for those guys. And I didn't really check <laughs> the surf's way up, but should be fine. Oh yeah, plenty of beach to do. And I got a new friend. <laughs> and there's the stairs. And here's my first signal. Not so good, but we'll dig it. And I've cleared away from around this rock and the signal just got really good. So we're gonna get it. All right, folks, I'm giving up on this one. Seems as if the sand is a little higher and uh, the signal's getting weaker. So moving on. And we've got another signal here and it looks like it's only three or four inches. So we'll dig it. Maybe more more than four. <laughs> Ooh, and this is different. <laughs> A lot of little sand fleas flying around. And it's right here. Maybe we can get it with our hand. Uh-oh. Lost it. <laughs> oh man. Come on, Nate. And it's our first piece of rusty steel. And I didn't go very far. Pretty good signal here. Well, I got it, and it is awful. A giant, sharp, very sharp piece of metal. And I don't know what that is, some type of super dangerous thing on the beach but uh i'm gonna take it off the beach <laughs> just got our first screamer and i uh, didn't have to dig because it's right here <laughs> and uh, this one is not well worn because i think it probably just came out of somebody's pocket 1983 maybe no, 81. And I've got a pretty good signal here. 
but it's right above these two rocks and now I don't see it. <laughs> oh, there we go. It's like a 28 or something. And uh, this beach, I feel as if it's uh, filled in with a lot of sand. And what was easy the other day, the conditions are not so great right now. But uh, let me get down there and see what I can do. And if I find something, you'll see it. Well, those two big boulders moved easy, so maybe I will find it. And I'm throwing in the towel. Can't find this one. Well, it says there's a 27, but you can see how far down it is. And I've been digging and digging and digging, and I haven't found anything in the ground. Only that dime on the front. So I'm going to do a couple more and then probably go to that park that's right up the street because uh, this sand is deep. And I made it back up the stairs. More tired <laughs> and less excited. But throw this away. And I took this off the beach. And uh, some more trash in my pocket. And we're going to the park. And right up the street, La Mesa Park, City of Santa Barbara Parks and Recreation Department. And it's our first surf and turf. And let's hope that the turf is better than the surf. And I walk from the car right to here. And we got our first signal. <laughs> right away. In the hole. Ringing pretty good. See if I can just pull it out of there. Maybe not. <laughs> Another scoop. And it's the dreaded pull tab. At least it's an old one. <laughs> Some chance this park's gonna be loaded with good stuff. Pretty good signal here. Shallow 20, right here. One more dig should do it. And it's corroded penny, number one. Second find, it's a good one. 19. signal's kind of choppy, but right on the surface, so. One more dig. <laughs> Let me turn this camera off. Okay, folks, and I'm driving home, and uh, I had one of the best, most fun metal detecting hunts of all time, and the reason for that is uh, I've never ever, until today, found a silver coin, so, uh, totally excited and my camera died and you can hear my metal detector in the back 
because it's about to die. So somebody can correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm gonna let that thing, you know, stay on until it dies so that when I charge it, it comes from a full charge. Anyway, uh, I also just got three rolls of, uh, well, I got $40.50 worth of half dollars at a bank right next to the place I was detecting. And three of them are rolled and 10.50 was uh, loose and no silver and no fines in that. But these rolls look pretty good and I'll spin around and show you real quick. And then after that, uh, I'll show you my metal detecting finds for today. The three in the front are the ones I need to open and the three in the back are some I got the other day that were not good. Okay, folks, and here's the wrap. We are at a Chase Bank in Tarzana, and this wrap's gonna last a long time <laughs> because uh, I've got all my metal detecting finds in this bag, including some trash, but luckily for me, there's a trash can over there. And uh, I've got $8.50 in pennies at home that I picked up last trip, and so I wanted to finish that off, and so uh, that would go something like $8.50, um, nine, 10, 15, 20, 25. So I got just the right amount to do a $25 increment, and some of these look totally awesome, these ones. <laughs> I also got a box of uh, cents today, and I don't know if they are circulated, but that will be like my 22nd uh, bank wrap box, or 23rd, I can't quite remember, but, um, or 21st, but anyway, uh, I haven't caught up quite yet with all my customer wrap stuff. I'm only on like 18 or something. All right, let's go for the reveal. I'm gonna pull out these, uh, and pull the stuff out of here. And uh, three big cans, and that's kind of gross. And uh, really upsetting that my camera died when I found my silver. But uh, you're gonna see it. <laughs> all right, let me turn this off, clean up a little bit, and then we'll take some stuff out of that bag again. Here is all the trash three cans, some bottle caps, and some pull tabs, and some straight pieces of metal. And uh, here are the fines. And we got one, two quarters, two nickels, two zincans, one, two, three, four, five, six copper pennies, including the one on the top right, which was a mudlarkin fine. And uh, this one is super bent up. <laughs> Must have hit by the mower. Must have been hit by the mower a few times. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven dimes, including one we got metal, including one we got metal detecting at the beach and our only find. And then we got silver. And it's a barber, and I haven't got the date yet, so you're seeing it for the first time along with me. And uh, I don't think I did that to it, <laughs> but uh, it's possible. And I think I might see 93 there. The back is also pretty banged up, but it's silver, and it's my very first silver coin ever found metal detecting. So quite a day for me, and uh, you're gonna see this video, but before you do, I'm probably gonna go back to that same park 10 times. <laughs> I'm gonna go hunt it out if I can, because I've never found silver in California, and uh, now that I have, uh, I want more. But uh, <laughs> thanks for watching, everybody. See you in the next one. Oh wait, I gotta open these half dollars. All right, let me do that right now. Roll one, no silver. Roll two, no silver. And this one's all taped up. And roll three, no silver. Bye.